Good morning. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are blessed and well. Divine feminine, divine masculine. Let's see what's going on on today with you guys. I feel like a whole lot of winning. I feel like y'all just winning. Y'all just chilling. Y'all protected from the villains. Ain't nobody coming near me. They should know I get it in. What else is here? Let's see for divine feminine, divine masculine. Oh, we y'all people, bro. Y'all energy has been shifting lately. I mean, it's like from one phase to another. One face to another. Somebody loves jewelry. Somebody creates jewelry or you love jewelry. Could be you, Divine Masculine Man, holding the heart. Journey in the reverse, okay? Somebody is not adhering to the process or something like that. We Seems like somebody is not willing to do something. They're not willing to put the past behind them or this is you. Somebody is, they're, they're holding a grudge. I feel like uh, somebody feels like you broke their heart. But there's some kind of strategy here. Archangel Raphael is in the reverse at the bottom. Thinking man, caring, connection, action, all tied up. Yeah, so somebody is busy. They're busy blaming you is what I just heard. We, or this could be you. This man holding a heart. Somebody wears a significant ring around their neck. It's on a um, chain some kind of chain could be silver or gold but i'm picking up mostly on silver red rover red rover red roses blueberries strawberries is significant somebody wears a significant ring this could be your grandfather or your grandmother's ring or something somebody has it around their neck or it's a certain ring that you wear that you never take off this ring is not a full circle it's like a little dent inside of this ring it's like dented a little bit like it's not a full circle okay so that's significant to somebody somebody has a lot of forearm tattoos it could be a sleeve but i'm picking up on forearms somebody has very thick veins your veins they bulge out or something especially in your hands okay what's here for divine feminine divine masculine somebody is in the desert i mean not the desert uh but you're somebody is in the wilderness is what i want to say you're out and about i'm seeing somebody walking through feeling the breeze in their hair okay you may just be enjoying the scenery some kind of flowers water i'm seeing it's just a beautiful energy that you guys are in. So what is this energy on this man holding a heart? So this is this is somebody um, this is somebody uh, that has a strategy either for this man holding a heart or this man holding a heart has a strategy for you. But uh, journey is in the reverse, so I'm not picking up that you guys will be going on this journey together. So whatever this is, I feel you've already put it behind you. What is this man holding a heart? What is the man holding a heart here? We have material harvest. So, yeah, somebody definitely has been planting their seeds somewhere, okay? Acquire is significant. And literally, the word acquire, look up the definition of acquire, okay? But, like, acquire singing, singing. You could have been in the choir when you were younger or you your children could be in the choir right now. I'm about to look up what acquire means, like, the actual definition. I know it means to obtain something. Let's see. Acquittal. Buy or obtain. Okay. For oneself. Learn or develop. So... This, this person is definitely obtaining some, or you are obtaining something that was due to you a very long time ago. This is like long money, old money. What's this journey in the reverse? 
And then somebody too could, you know, I feel like divine feminine masculine, once you cut somebody off, like you walked away from someone and said, hey, well, you're not coming on this journey with me. You may not have expressed this to them, but you expressed it to you. And that's just all you needed to convince yourself like, hey, yeah, you're not no good for me. What's this journey in the reverse card? I feel like the most high God is with you. So you're good. Yeah. Intuition. You intuitively know some. You didn't even try to stand your ground to something here. You, you didn't even try to explain shit or need no explanation for nothing for nothing. This is something you just walk the hell away. What is this strategy? Partnerships and alliances reverse. So even if this person want to partner with you, you're not going to partner with them. Triumph is in the reverse universe. Reverse. Damn. Damn. <laughs> damn, daddy. Universe is in the reverse twice. Back to back right here. I'm hearing back to back by Drake. Somebody might try to come out dissing you or something. It's full of lies. Somebody's full of lies, child. Somebody is full of lies period and this could also be why you walked away from the person because they were lying on you or something or they were lying about something period what's this man holding a heart this person is in love with you but it's just like yeah nah i'm good <laughs> you digger risk you somebody loves pears peaches apples oranges shit like that i've been picking up on that y'all folk definitely is taking care of your bodies you're taking care of your bodies. I'm seeing somebody working out. Somebody loves bicycling. Somebody um, rides their bike a lot. Or maybe you should start bicycling. Like if you go to the gym or something, the bike the bike is significant. A bike. Yeah, go the distance. Somebody can ride a bike for a long ass time right here. What else is here? Intuition. Come to the edge. Yeah, you know this person was trying to lure you in some kind of way. All that glitters. Or this, or you know, you either know that they were trying to lure you into some kind of karmic cycle again to have you stuck, or you know that they're coming in to do this point blank period. And this person is willing to go the distance for this shit. A checkerboard could be significant. Checkers rallies could be significant. A, a leopard is significant. Also a Leo. Somebody has a bunch of stars tattooed on them. So this could be this forearm tattoo that I'm seeing. There's stars here. Yeah. What's this partnerships and alliances in the reverse? You're not going to partner with this person. It's just simply because this person is a fraud. Or this is you that's fraudulent as fucking hell shit. A leg up is in the reverse. So yeah, they don't have any opportunities with you anymore. And this is only to divine feminine masculine because you are in this boss energy. I feel like y'all been bosses since the day you were born, the day you were, the day God, man, the day God even thought to create you, bro, you've been a boss, that's just what I'm trying to tell you right here, fam, man, somebody definitely had some issues in school with people, like, you never really had real friends or something like that, it's also something about the people that you went to school with, they're monitoring you or something, peaches are significant, somebody's name could be peaches or something like that, excuse me. Somebody name definitely peaches or some shit. Or or just peaches are significant. Or you could be from Georgia. What else is here? Why is this man holding a heart here? Okay, so this person uh left somebody behind. Okay, so this is that dang on energy of a person thinking that they can leave a karmic energy behind and then you're just supposed to drop everything that you're doing or everything you're creating and then come and be with them just so that they can drain everything from you, take from you, and then leave and go back to this person anyway. You're official. You've been stamped official here is what I'm feeling like. What else is here for this man holding a heart? Also, too, I feel like somebody is holding a heart for you. Somebody got their heart on their sleeve. Yeah, this person is married. This main male is married. The number 13 is significant. Somebody's birthday is on the 13th. Yeah, this person is married. Y'all be cautious of these people coming into your life because it seems like somebody's coming into your life to try to act like they want to be with you. Somebody also caught a bouquet. Or they will, you will catch a bouquet or something like that. You're the next to get married. What's this uh, come to the edge here? Journey reverse. Your intuition is spot on right now. Yeah, occupation. You're just focused on work or if there's a need to focus on your work. Somebody's trying to get you thrown off. Somebody definitely stole clothing or something like that or you crochet. It's something about... Your work that's bringing you sudden wealth. You got some unexpected income here as well. Great fortune. Damn. See, this what I be talking about, fam, masculine. That's what I'm saying, baby. Keep doing good shit, bro. Okay. The more good shit you do, the more you get back is what I feel. I feel like just ignore the negativity. What's this leg up energy here? Yeah. I heard the word supreme. 
somebody love every topping there is on their pizza somebody goes and order pizza and they get every damn topping that there is to get period <laughs> I love this shit. So let me talk my shit. Okay. What else is here? Y'all, I love Lil Wayne. I love that man to death, bro. Y'all don't even understand. Y'all do not understand how much I love Lil Wayne. So that's significant. Somebody also is a Lil Wayne fan, okay? So unexpected income. Yeah, this person, this person right here thought they were going to come in and build something with you, like, they might have got their bread up or something, but I feel like for them to get their bread or they need to go and, and be with the other person that they done baked many buns with. This person got a lot of goddamn children with whoever this person is, and it seems like this person is trying to leave this person and their children behind to start a new life with you, but I feel like they need to take care of whatever the fuck they've created, because whoever you are, you don't have any attachments. It's like you don't have attachments to anybody or anything, anywhere. You pretty much get up and do what the fuck you want. So somebody is jealous of that too. Now this person that's in your, this new person that's coming into your life or that's already in your life, this person is much better for you, I feel. 26, 27, great fortune, unexpected income. So somebody don't have no access to you. Also, too, this is that spiritual stalking, spiritual spying fucking energy I keep picking up on. Somebody is going in the spirit looking for you or trying to access you some kind of way. They're trying to secretly contact you and connect with you so that this person that they're married to won't know. It's like they're trying to have a relationship with you in the spirit. This person will never come to you in the physical. They, they'll just, you know, try to telepathic communicate or ask your travel or show up in your fucking dreams or something. And whoever you are, you're sick of that. I feel like you just want this person out of your energy altogether. The Hierophant, Lovers, yeah. Taurus, Gemini energy. You don't, you want this person to leave you the hell alone, but they're not going to. It's simply because this person don't want you to move forward. This person feels like you're their elf on the shelf is what the fuck I'm hearing. They feel like you're you're just some kind of uh, doll just to have up on a shelf, you know, um, so that they can view you and just have you stuck sitting still, not moving. But that's not what's happening. I feel like it's them that's stuck. Even if this person did come across some kind of money, I feel like they need to use that money and take care of their family. I mean, they need to get the fuck out of your business. I'm just really not understanding why this person is not leaving you alone. The five of wands, they're trying to bring conflict to you. The chariot, this is definitely a cancer. What else is here? So this person can't make any moves towards you. What is this journey, reverse, and intuition? Yeah, the queen of wands. This queen of wands energy, you're in divine film. Queen of wands, queen of cups, knight of pentacles. You are very sexy. Somebody has some kind of skin discoloration. It's some kind of skin. Um, I don't want to say disease, but it's some kind of... Um, somebody could have a skin graft is what the fuck I just heard. A skin graft, maybe some burns or something. It's, it's some kind of discoloration with somebody's skin, period. Somebody is beautiful as shit. That's what I'm saying. Somebody is beautiful as hell. You're sexy. You're sitting on your throne right here, Divine Femme, Divine Masculine. What else is here? Partnerships and alliances. You're not going for whatever the fuck this is. You don't want nothing to do with this person. It seems like they're trying to use this full moon energy to manifest you, but you've already manifested something or someone else. So it's like they're getting bumped out of the way. Yeah, the five of pentacles with the seven of pentacles reversed. They made a horrible investment to deal with someone else. And I'm trying to figure out how the fuck you going to marry somebody and then... Okay, you left somebody alone because you thought they wasn't shit. You went and married somebody who you thought was somebody, and they ain't shit. And the person that you left is actually the star. And now you're trying to leave the bitch that ain't shit. Leave the nigga that ain't shit to go towards this star. You're doing spell work on the star so that they can't move on to somebody better because you ain't shit. And now you're trying to block them because you ain't shit. Wow. Don't let that go over your fucking head right here. What's this uh cherry energy? This person right here is weird as shit. And then like I said, they're gonna they're gonna come towards you with this page of cups, this bullshit offer, this fish in a the cup. They're gonna come towards you with this shit, knowing damn well that they only want to this person wants to maybe have sex with you to do some kind of spell work on you again, is what I heard. They did a spell on you before. The nine of pentacles reverse two of pentacles with the seven of swords. Yeah, this is a sneaky bastard. Seven of cups, seven, seven. It's something about your innate abilities is what I'm hearing. Innate abilities. What's this page of cups? Yeah, the eight of cups reversed. They're not walking away from you. 
and they secretly like this person secretly stalks you like they're the person that they're with don't know that they're up to this three of cups reverse i don't feel like they're cheating on this person but they may not be cheating on the person that they're with or married to but it's like this this person is too obsessed with like they're obsessed with you six of pentacles reverse but they're not an equal give and take it's like something here with this man holding the heart like why is all of this bullshit clarifying this person i don't get it king of pentacles reverse four of pentacles reverse with the knight of wands yeah they want to come in and out hop in the bed with you and leave what's the queen of wands this shit is weird people still on this as many diseases and as many shit going on in the spiritual realm, y'all folks still swapping out bodily fluids with these hoes and niggas, man. Y'all folks need to get your life right. What's this queen of wands? What's the queen of wands? I mean, at some point, you can vibrate low, but you got to get up out of that energy. This person is going to forever vibrate low. They don't want to move on. They don't want to be a better person. What's the four of swords? This four of swords energy, somebody is forced into a period of rest. I'm getting some cramps here. Somebody could be on their menstrual cycle. Yeah, the Ten of Swords. This, you, you probably, man, somebody is chilling. Somebody is chilling. There's a betrayal here. You already know what this person is up to. and Or if you don't know what they're up to, Spirit does. You dig a rich you? So they're, they're going to be blocked. This person is going to be blocked. What's the Ten of Swords? They're trying to come in and steal something else from you. This Six of Pentacles reverse lets me know that something is just not going to be an equal give and take like ever. What's the Ten of Swords here? This person is definitely trying to, um, they're trying to persuade you to come backwards. Like, yeah, the Knight of Wands. They want to come in and do something. Look, the Magician at the bottom of the deck with the Five of Wands reverse and the Empress reverse with the Two of Cups reverse. They're trying to do magic on you because they don't want you to be with somebody else. Goodness gracious. Please explain to me how this person can be married with children or whatever the fuck, but you can't be married. Man, get the fuck out of here with this shit, bro. Like I said, they feel like you're some kind of sh elf on the shelf. They want you to just be sitting there. So they only can watch you or something. This person hates to see you. Like, they, they, this person hates to see you. Like, you upload anything, a picture, a video, whatever. They hate to see you because they cannot have you. They cannot control you. I feel like this person is from a distance watching you. What's the Five of Pentacles? You definitely moved away from this person. Six of Cups reverse. Yeah, this is somebody from your past. Somebody that you don't have really great memories with. This person tries to destroy you. What's the Six of Cups? Why did this person try to destroy the collective? I feel like it's something to do with this damn karmic energy that they had. Yeah, because they were blinded by some. How somebody that's karmic as fuck and that don't even know you lying on you and this person believed them? Two of Wands, Eight of Swords. That's the truth with the Ace of Swords. This person, they, they let somebody that you don't even know blind them about you. Deal with what I'm just trying to say. Like, if you got a history with somebody, you know somebody, and they, and you literally built a bond with this person, how the fuck they gonna let somebody that they just met come in and tell them lies about you when you don't even know them? This bitch right here, this nigga may have been trying to pretend like they were the divine feminine or the divine masculine, but they're unsuccessful at proving this, and they're also unsuccessful at proving that you did something to them. It's like, somebody wants to have you to blame for why things are going wrong in their life the ace of pentacles they see you sitting back getting money you're getting recognition you're getting everything you deserve i just feel like i mean your light is shining the most high god is definitely working in your life and people can tell they see a glow on you and they're trying to figure out how you're glowing still somebody's trying to figure out why they why what they did you uh, defeated them. Five of Swords here. Six of Swords reverse. Ace of Wands reverse with the Hierophant in the world. Yeah, it's fucking over. The Hermit. So we got Gemini energy, Virgo, Scorpio, Taurus energy here. Pisces, Cancer, period. The Two of Swords. Like I feel, this person, they do something around every moon cycle. The King of Wands, Page of Wands. This person is waiting on good news, but they're emotionally unavailable to receive good news like this person good news is allergic to this nigga or this bitch whoever this is good news is definitely allergic to this person especially when it comes to you what's the two of swords here i'm hearing rags the riches somebody named e emmanuel manny or something like that the ace of cups sun card leo yeah, you got somebody else that you already in love with or somebody else that's already in love with you. It's it's like you're bypassing this part. You're too you're too fast is what I heard. The five of swords. This person is very petty. They're envious and jealous. And here's the magician again. What the fuck is wrong with these people to all this magic? 
This bitch right here love wearing low top boots and shit. Low, low top, not, not low top boots, but they like, they're not high boots. Like they're low, they look like, they look like the style of a tennis shoe, but they're boots. Or something. This is a boot wearing bitch right here. Somebody love boots and shit. The devil. This person is in devil damn energy. They're bonded to somebody else and they're definitely tied down to addictions. And another addition that they have is being obsessed with you. This shit, this is weird. The Queen of Cups fell on the floor. Somebody is packing up all their stuff. All these cards, look, the Tower, Temperance, and the Fool card. Sag Energy, Aries. Bro, how in the world? Three major arcana just flipped out of their dang on deck. The Six of Wands is in the reverse. The Four of Pentacles reverse strength with the High Priestess and the Seven of Swords. You already know. You already know. That whenever this person came back, that they were on bullshit, or you know that when they come back, they will be on bullshit. Fuck hell, you know this person is coming back towards you. Just period. They ain't got no choice because they've been living off of your energy for so long. This person is losing everything. It seems like this person is tied down to the devil. They made some kind of rash decision, is what I heard. Somebody wears arm jewelry. Not like on your wrist or anything, but you know, like on your um your arm, like I'm seeing a bunch of bracelets or some kind of wraps or something, jewelry wrapped around somebody's arms. Bangle, not bangles. It's on the high part of your arm. Okay. You're getting justice. Libra energy, three of pentacles reversed with the king of swords reversed. You know this person is a liar. King of swords reversed with the queen of swords reversed. All these people are liars. Goodness gracious, what the hell? Let me get one T card and I'm getting the fuck up out of this shit. These, uh, it's because you're moving forward, okay? And you also may have found out the truth about this person. This person gonna come into your dreams some kind of way and you gonna know that it was them that was stealing from you spiritually. Spirit is going to reveal something to you in your dreams, especially if you have not been remembering your dreams. Are you going to remember this one? This person has been trying to cloak themselves for a real long time. Somebody ex doing this shit or somebody's karmic, period. Somebody's somebody's ex is doing this or their ex, your ex and their karmic, the person that they're married to is doing something to you. Somebody very convincing. But they're convincing to someone else. Like, they're not convincing you of nothing. This person may think they have the gift of gab or something. I feel like your spiritual team got the gift of jab. Knocking this nigga ass the fuck out. Clean out. Moving on. Yeah, they ain't got no choice but to move on. You're the queen rising, bro. Nightmares. I'm telling you, bro. You gonna see this person. And this person could be having nightmares or something nightmares of you at the top is what i heard like they're there this person is getting taunted in their damn dreams about your success your victory what's here for journey reverse and intuition goodness gracious bro the ten of swords came flying out and this person been talking a lot of shit about you too shawty this person been talking a whole lot of damn shit and they they mad at you because you acting cold like you don't know they been talking shit so this is a person that be talking shit about you. They wish bad on you and then they think you're supposed to hang around them. What the fuck? Mm -mm. What's this partnerships and alliances energy here with this strategy? Child, please. Dirty damn offer. You already know. Played out. Incarcerated. Screenshots. Kissing ass. Like this person may be trying. To, so this they do. This is they do. Or that female that is literally about to go to prison or some shit. You don't know this. You don't know something that they did. They may have did something with this karmic. They may have been doing some illegal ass shit with this karmic. And they about to go to prison. And they trying to come in. Move, make some type of move towards you. But they're not going to leave this karmic. You got a jackpot. That's at the bottom of the deck. Thank you spirit. So evidently this person is trying to. They trying to come in and manifest something real quick.
somebody wondering why they can't get through they're wondering why the hell they cannot get through to you spiritually wow they want to get through but they cannot they have no access to you whatsoever y'all make sure y'all go subscribe to love peppermint and watch that reading that i posted yesterday this is that same energy they have literally no access to you And they're also very ashamed because of what they did. So this person, this this person right here does a lot of fucking spell. This is what I, this man, everything that this person do and they hold inside, anything that they do, they do a spell for it. If this person go apply for a job, they going to do a spell before they go to the interview, period. If this person want to start some kind of company, they going to do a spell before they start it, period. They're going to do a spell over it or something. This ain't Father God, please protect my business, my assets, my royalties. God, please let this thing work because I'm working hard. You nigga, Rishka, this is not that. This is a, a burning candle ass bitch right here. A candle burning bitch or a nigga. Every single thing that they listen to what I'm saying. Everything that they do, they do a spell first. And then they go and they try to attempt this. Which is very fucking strange. They're not putting prayer or blessings over anything they're doing spell work to obtain shit but they always need your energy to do it okay and it's something that this person is trying to manifest it's something big but they're they're trying to steal it from you because you have big ass blessings you got big blessing energy and they're trying to um they're trying to use your energy to manifest something for themselves and for this person, period. It ain't got nothing to do with you. This is why they're blocked. It's not beneficial to you at all. It will be taken from you. So a lot of y'all, this person reach out to you, don't even reply back to them. Don't even converse with this person at all. I feel like if you see their name pop up, they uh, miss, don't even read one word that this motherfucker is sending to you. Because I'm telling you, it's trickery behind it. This person right here will do a spell to try to blind you to, to close off your third eye chakra or something like that. They'll do some kind of spell and then reach out to you. So, you know, this this person wants you to forget about the betrayal that they caused you or something. What the f***, man, hell no. Nah. This is a dirty damn offer. And a lot of y'all, like I feel, yeah, they want you back. They're a wolf and shit's clothing, though. You got somebody. It's somebody else completely different here, bro. Go with the new person, shout it, or don't be with nobody at all, period. Don't go back to the ex and shout it. Leave these folks where the fuck they at. Because whoever the hell these folks say, bro, that I be picking up on, these people do not got no good intention for you. Because wherever you are, and it seems like, too, if you're in the public eye, this person is trying to deal with you so that they can get some kind of clout off of you, but only to have them and this person in the spotlight. Somebody may be trying to start drama with you, the beef with this bitch or this nigga or something for you to mention them or some kind of thing like that, just so that they can use that to piggyback off of. Listen to what I'm saying. They trying to piggyback off that shit. So, like, say if you got a YouTube channel, I'm going to give you a prime example. You got a YouTube channel. Your channel's doing good. This person right here may try to come towards you, have sex with you or do something, and then this bitch going to go and start putting videos on youtube about you and how you slept with her man or something like that they're planning this this nigga gonna go and create a channel trying to drag your fucking name because they're trying to build up a following you dig a is something like that this this person they're trying to build some kind of manifestation they're trying to do something but off of your energy bro that's why i'm saying don't give these people no energy i mean none they need no energy what the fuck so ever from you, bro. Because I see right through this plot. Whatever the fuck this is, this shit is... This, this person right here, because it would be all on you. Because this person feels like you know they're married. They're like, okay, well, if I can get them to fuck or if I can get them to, you know, believe that I want a relationship with them knowing that I'm married already, I can use that and turn it around for my good. This person is very, very deceptive, Okay very calculated person here that you're dealing with so just be very cautious of this energy remember that god loves you and so do i